Alex, there's so much going on with Tesla, but actually there's not that much going on. And the share price just goes through the roof. What exactly is going on? It's hard to see actually the reason behind <laughs> right. the share price going the way it is. I mean, fundamentally, the, the, the news we've had this morning is that analysts at uh, Piper Sandler have raised their price target. That makes them the only um, analyst, um, with, uh, sell side analyst at least, with uh, a price target above the current share <laughs> price. Uh, everybody else um, clearly below it. Still, the majority of analysts covering the stock recommend selling it. Um, and so it, it, it's kind of just I think a huge amount right. still of, of fear of missing out which is driving this this you know stratospheric increase in the stock let's go to the chart this is yield to musk right now this is an interesting chart a bond chart Alex not the parabolic stock chart and I've never seen a chart like this folks to see Tesla eight nine eleven percent yield whatever it was at the bottom there price up to 103 with a yield 4.32 percent that's called yield to Musk. That's an extraordinary story. Alex, are they changing their price targets because of the internal financials or the unit predictions of number of cars sold? Or are they changing because they're capitulating from auto company? No, it's a tech company. So the rationale they're giving is that the um, there isn't enough um, the, the, the potential of the battery and, and the, the uh, solar cell technology isn't being priced in. At the moment, that's about 6% of total revenue. That percentage pretty much, well, not even the percentage, the absolute number, one and a half billion in revenue last year, about the same the year before. Uh, I'm inclined to think that they're looking for reasons, they're trying to find reasons to give it a more optimistic target price. I don't really know whether the logic of the, the you know, this business's potential really holds. They've had it for a number of years, they've never really delivered on it. Okay, that are, implicitly means it has a lot more potential than it ha has realized value, but um, this scale of that potential to me, uh, you know, solar cells are a commoditized business where pricing has been undermined massively by China over the past few years, and I remain skeptical. But then I was skeptical of Tesla to begin with, and we've seen what happened to the share price, so goodness knows what my opinion's worth.